barbecue family. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode on our channel. I'm Ooh. Zombie Maddie and this is Zombie Kiki. Oh yeah. I don't know why this means Zombie Maddie and Kiki. I don't know either and I don't know why you're wearing that orange thing because how does that mean you're a zombie? I'm not quite getting the look. I just like any excuse to put on a feather boa, you know? Halloween's only time of year I feel like that could be appropriate. I think it doesn't go with what you're wearing, but I'm fine. Really? Or do you want to wear that wig forever? Guys, you're telling me this doesn't look actually good. It act I actually have to say it does. It's like very like voluminous. It's very shiny and sparkly. I can't see very well, though. It keeps like going in front of my face. This is itchy. This is itchy, but this is also so much fun. Wearing this on the way here, people kept staring at me with all this makeup on. I kept forgetting that I was wearing it and being like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, when sorry. Guys, when you went to the door, I literally was terrified. I was like, oh my goodness. So some of you guys might be thinking, is that just Maddie and Kiki without their makeup on? And you know what? It's not that far off from this look. <laughs> Aside from the blood everywhere, we do wake up with dark circles just like this. Yeah. So today's theme is all about one of our favorite genres of movies, and that is the horror movie. Of course, it's Halloween this week. What else would we be talking about other than horror movies? We love them. I'm wondering if you guys love them too. You can really can't get through Halloween without watching the classics. We were actually raised off of horror movies. Our dad, I don't know what he was thinking, but he let us watch horror movies starting from when we were like five years old. I know, except the only one that dad would never let us watch is Candyman for some reason. Yeah, can someone let us know why? If you've seen Candyman, why was that one off limits for our dad? Is that one really that scary? I don't think I've actually ever seen that. Yeah, we're not allowed. You know what? We're in our 30s. Maybe this year is the year to see Candy Man. No, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so today before we get started, we kind of want to do some horror movie quote trivia with you guys. Okay, so we're going to do it with each other. Okay. I have some ones that I want to ask you, honey, that I think that you will be able to get. Okay. And then you have some that you've already come pre-prepared with. Yes. That you're going to ask me. Yes, I do. I think I'm going to get all of them because I'm the master of this game. Okay, you're on. Play along as we go because this is just fun. And one of these quotes or one of these movies is actually the inspiration for what we're going to make today. So hang on and you're about to see what that is because I am so excited for what we're making today. Okay, I'm going first. All right. First one, go. one of my faves. They're here. I'm culture guys, that's so easy. <laughs> I mean, I need to warm up, okay? We're just getting started. I'm gonna give you one, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Hit it. Okay, hang on. Did you guys get Poltergeist though? That was a good one. That's one of the most famous quotes of all okay. time. Not even just horror movies, movies in general. All right, stop stalling. It's your <laughs> turn to get one. I smell children. Hocus Pocus. You got oh, it! It's like so obvious. Hocus Pocus is probably my favorite Halloween movie that's not a horror. It's a cult classic. A lot of the ones that we're talking about today are like cult classics. Yes. Okay, go. All right, my turn now. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Do you guys know what? Oh, my hands caught my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that one. What is it? A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy oh. Krueger, come on! I watched that one recently and that's actually not that good. The 80s classic, how can you not like that one? And I feel like those, some of those old movies are just so cheesy that but they- But that's like, what makes them good. Don't you guys agree? The horror movie genre, I feel like the cheesier the better. All right, I got one for you. Want to play a game, Sydney? Scream. Oh, you're too good at this That game. one's so obvious. And you even said Sydney. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I have one for you. All right. They're all gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually, I get bonus points because I'm actually acting it out. I don't know what this is. I'll give you a, I'll give you a hint. Guys, help me. It's a book. It's from a book. I don't know. Stephen King. That's not The Shining. Oh my, what no. is it? <laughs> no! He's all right, he's right. taking past me in this wig. It's Carrie. Okay, come on, remember the prom scene? Oh yes, okay. I did not know that one. All right guys, like, clearly I gotta brush up. This is fun though. Yeah, are you guys having fun? This is what Halloween is all about. Yes it is. I gotta brush up because I'm not getting a lot of these. Yeah. You're yeah. picking terrible you have to ones. Have, like, a tri Excuse me, how? Because they're, they're like, I don't think these are the main quotes from the movie. Yes, they are. Are you kidding me? I think that, that wig is a little too tight, honey. <laughs> okay, do you want me to brush yours off? Because I will right now. No. No, you won't. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. gonna wear this forever. <laughs> All right, I got one for you. All right. Here's Johnny. Oh, I know. I feel like I know that one. I feel like I kind of know that one. What? That's like the most obvious I one know. ever. What is that from? 
Guys. Okay, I forget. I honestly, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Just tell me. The shining. Oh my. Okay, that what? is embarrassing. That, that is embarrassing. embarrassing. Dad would be disappointed. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dad, I apologize. That was brutal. I have one for you right now. Right, what is it? Okay, ready? Yeah. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. I thought that's not a horror movie. What is that? <laughs> that's, that's just a good quote. That's the notebook, but that's what? <laughs> Maybe to some people that might be a horror movie. Maybe some people have been forced to sit through that movie and they're not a fan of it. But I just wanted to throw that one in there. You know, throw you off a little bit. And that brings us to our final quote. This one's a special one for you guys because it's actually the theme of our recipe today. Oh, okay. So this one is sometimes dead is better. That is one of my favorite all-time scary movies, and that is Pet Cemetery. Stephen King. Another Stephen King. Stephen King. They don't call him the King of Horror for nothing, okay? We first saw that movie when we were very, very young. <laughs> That's actually what got me personally on the Ramones. Yeah. Sheena's a punk rocker, and then they also had so the Ramones actually wrote the song Pet Cemetery yeah. for that movie. And you'll remember in that movie when their family cat dies, he's buried in the pet cemetery, and he comes back as zombie church. Zombie church, that's the theme of today's recipe. Of course, you know what, zombie church, it's fairly obvious that we're making a uh, cat meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> and this zombie church meatloaf is gonna have a very secret, cool, creepy touch to it that we're not gonna let you guys know about until we start making it. It's gonna be creepy, it's gonna be tasty, obviously it's gonna be made on the barbecue. You guys know why you're here, you know why you're on our channel. So buckle up guys and get ready for this Halloween inspired video. Halloween. Zombie mad, zombie yeah. mad, yeah. and keep. Before we get started, one of the most important things about grilling is making sure to preheat the grill. All right, so the first thing we need to do to make this zombie cat head meatloaf is start with the meatloaf. So today we're using half beef, half pork, and all we're gonna do is season it like a regular meatloaf. So we're gonna, first of all, add some salt to taste. And because this is a lot of meat, we really wanna make sure we're seasoning properly here. And this is kind of our secret. We're using oats. Right, I gotta say, I just can't even handle this. The fact, your face, your hair. Okay guys, a hands up if you think I should be wearing this wig all the time. I kinda <laughs> like it. Look, I'm seeing the color. It's making me want to change my hair color. The color is kind of wor really working for you. But we're using um, oats today, but you could also use breadcrumbs. You could use moistened bread. That's what a lot of people do. But we like using breadcrumbs because it makes a meatloaf super moist and it helps it hold its shape when we're making the cat head shape in the pan. So the oats are gonna go in. Then we have here some garlic powder. And this is another secret for this type of meatloaf, and that is cocoa. So that's what's gonna give this meatloaf a great color and make it sort of look more like a cat. You're not really gonna taste the cocoa in this recipe. It'll kind of give it a, more of a depth of flavor, but you're, it's not gonna taste sweet. And then we're gonna go in with some ground sumac, again, for a little bit of flavor, but mostly for the color here. And last but not least, an egg. Then using our clean zombie hands, we're gonna get right in there. If you are gonna use cocoa for this recipe to make it darker, you're gonna wanna make sure you're not using sweetened cocoa or like a hot chocolate mix, cause that would get really, really weird. We just want it for the color here, but definitely not the sweetness. So now we are going to start building our little zombie cat head. Kiki has mixed our meat mixture. And so we said at the beginning that there's gonna be something special to this cat head. And so every zombie cat head needs some brains on the inside. So we're gonna be using these cheese curds right here and some blood, which is our sriracha there. When, as this cooks, everything's gonna melt and then when we cut into it, brains and blood, it's gonna go everywhere. Okay, that actually sounds really disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do here, form a pretty large patty, like we're making a burger right now, and then, going to put in our cheese curds. I think that looks like enough brains there. And every cat brain needs some blood. So then now we're gonna put that patty down and we're going to form another thick patty to close up the cat zombie head. <laughs> then we're just getting our other patty and putting that right over our patty there. Okay, so then now it's going on the tray and we're just gonna roughly eyeball the shape 
of a cat head. Okay, so I think that's looking like a nice little cat head shape. So now we're gonna put on his little cute brown cheeks. And there's one cheek. There's his other little cheek. Okay, that's his little bow. Now we're just gonna form his eyes. Bit like that. He's looking cute. I don't know if he looks like a zombie cat. He's kind of looking kind of adorable here. He will when his brains are oozing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I really hope little Ricky doesn't see this, but if he does, I think that he would be flattered because this guy is super cute. So this is our pre-cooked zombie kitty before he heads out to the grill. Let's get him on the grill, get him cooked up. So our grill has been preheating for 12 minutes and today we're cooking with the Weber Genesis using the mom method. So what that means is that this section of the grill is off entirely. And this section of the grill, both of these sections are on medium to high. So we're gonna be putting this to our little zombie cat on the grill. We're gonna take a look at it after about 30 minutes and see where we're at. Then we're gonna start saucing. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's see where we're at with our zombie kitty. Oh, he's looking cute. Oh, he's smelling good His too. His eyes are looking crispy and I think he's ready for a first batch of saucing. This is just our, a barbecue sauce. You can use any barbecue sauce here. We liked the color of this one, so that's why we're using this one. All right, let's check on it. My goodness, Ooh. it's too cute. To me, it has a cute vibe. It doesn't necessarily have a scary vibe. This kitty's ready to come off the grill. Here comes the fun part. Now we get to decorate our zombie cat head. It's come off the grill and the brains are already starting to ooze out, but that is not the grand finale, guys. First, we need to get this thing beautifully decorated. And we've just accumulated some fun treats from the bulk barn. But you can really get this stuff anywhere, like the dollar store has a bunch of stuff. We've got some black liquor cigars here that we're gonna use for some whiskers on the side. So all we need to do is just sort of place them there and we have a red bell pepper that we've just cut into a cute little heart for his nose. And let's face it guys, every zombie needs some fangs. His special eyes go on. All right guys, I get to do the fun part and that is releasing his oozy brains because I'm a zombie and I love brains. Here we go. Here goes his eyes. Oh yeah. Ooh, there they are, they're coming out. Oh, look at his brains. Why are you? That was the point, it's cute. Halloween. He used to be so cute. <laughs> Leave it to you to feel sorry for the zombie cat. Are you ready to eat him or not? I guess. All right guys, it all comes down to this. Now do you want some of his head or some of his brains? What, what are your <laughs> Give me a bit of both. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give you some of his ear because it looks nice and crunchy. Oh, okay, good. Guys, that is what Halloween is all about. It's about these fun treats. We're experiencing Halloween different this year. Baby kids aren't going out trick-or-treating. But you know what? This was still full of Halloween spirit in this cute little guy's little head. And on that note, give me some ear and brain. Okay, these brains are oozing everywhere. All right, I already have my song for this. Song? It's, it's not a song. A sound? It's okay. not a sound. Right. I've prepared. Guys, since it's Halloween, here it comes. Cause it's a stella. What is the dance? Oh no, that's Backstreet Boys. I this couldn't decide. Boys. Yeah, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do Thriller or Everybody oh. Rock Your Body. I thought you were gonna go. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Why do you sound like a grade two choir? <laughs> <laughs> That's only people who sing the Monster Rash. True. Yeah, Nash. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's a lot of brains. Mm, mm, mm. The brains, aka the cheese curds, go so good in a meatloaf. Yes. It's deceptive with the brains spurting out everywhere, but really you just got yourself a good meatloaf with some cheese curds. So how could you go wrong mm -hmm. with that? We really encourage you guys Go for the cheese curds on this. They melt great, they taste great. It pairs perfectly with the blood, AKA the sriracha. Ooh, yeah, that would really be really good. good. It's actually really good with the blood. Let's get some more blood in there. <laughs> okay. That's gross to say. And That's you're like good. tricking me too, because I'm like, is the blood in there? And yeah. <laughs> it's Halloween! Happy Halloween, everybody! Remember how 
can put a lot of cocoa powder in there. Yeah, hey, can you taste it? I cannot taste it one bit. It's just adding to the beautiful color here. Sorry, take it, take it right here. Mm, it is good. Yep. It really is weird. Bite into ear and blood. Ew. But you know what? What? I've wanted to do this all episode. Uh oh. <laughs> I think you ripped out like half of my actual hair. <laughs> I wanted to do that all episode, guys. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back streets, back. All right. I think we should have gone with this look. This is more scary than the wigs. Oh, I definitely think so, guys. All right. Okay. Oh, oh that no. feels much better. Let's oh, that thing is itchy. Yeah, that thing was so itchy. <laughs> All right, guys, happy Halloween this weekend. If you're going out, if you're staying in, be safe. We hope you're enjoying some delicious treats like this. Make some cat. Make some meatloaf cat this year, everybody. Oh. It tastes <laughs> so good. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. You almost got cat in my face. The cat is in here, the meatloaf. Makes me feel like dancing. <laughs> Look at my head. I have cat in my teeth. Please never say that again. <laughs>